हेलो फ्रेंड्स वी हैव बीन डिस्कसिंग अबाउट गुडविल राइट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द मीनिंग ऑफ गुडविल दैट इट इज रेपुटेशन दैट इज अर्न बाय अ बिजनेस ओवर अ पीरियड ऑफ टाइम एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दिस रेपुटेशन द बिजनेस इज एक्सपेक्टेड टू अट्रैक्ट मोर एंड मोर कस्टमर्स एंड देर इज अ प्रॉबेबिलिटी देर इज अ वेरी हाई प्रॉबेबिलिटी दैट द ओल्ड कस्टमर्स will stick to that business who is earning a good reputation in the market then i discussed that goodwill is an intangible asset right being an intangible asset we need to value the goodwill right we discussed upon valuation of goodwill we discuss the need for valuation right what are the various cases where we need to value the goodwill those cases were change in profit sharing ratio admission of a partner uh, death of a partner right the two partnership firms amalgamate or the firm is sold as a going concern in all these cases we need to value the goodwill clear so now next topic that we are going to discuss is classification of goodwill or i can say types of goodwill right so basically there are two types number one is purchased goodwill now what is purchased goodwill purchased goodwill is i purchase a business right i purchase a running business of a person who is having a very good reputation in the market who is having a high level of goodwill high value of goodwill i purchase his business now along with the business see i am also purchasing his reputation right if i am purchasing his business he is earning a good reputation in the market i am purchasing his business right along with the business i'll be purchasing his reputation his reputation will become my reputation now right afterwards the onus is on me right to continue that reputation whether i am able to sustain that reputation for a long period of time that he has built over years the onus will be on me because i am purchasing that business and i am purchasing the reputation of that business i am purchasing the goodwill of that business right when i am purchasing business i will purchase all the assets i will purchase all the liabilities right so the goodwill is also our asset we have valued a goodwill i will make payment for goodwill right what i am doing is i am doing purchase of a running business that is the business that is already in the market and that is earning a good reputation in the market that is having a good goodwill in the market purchase of a running business and i am acquiring i am acquiring goodwill by making payment clear so i am purchasing a running business which is having a good reputation in the market it means i am purchasing his reputation also by making payment to him 
आई एम एक्वायरिंग द गुडविल ऑफ द बिजनेस बाय मेकिंग पेमेंट दैट इज परचेज गुडविल राइट सो विल शो दिस परचेज गुडविल बिकॉज वी हैव मेड सम पेमेंट फॉर इट वी विल शो दिस गुडविल ऑन एसेट साइड of balance sheet right this is purchased goodwill that we are acquiring the goodwill of a business right by making a payment at the time of purchase of business right i am purchasing a running business of a person who is having a good reputation in the market who is having a goodwill in the market i am acquiring his goodwill along with the other assets of the business by making some payment i am making payment for that goodwill that goodwill will be shown in my balance sheet on the asset side right so you can write this down this is purchased goodwill the second we have is second is self generated goodwill here we are running our own business we are not purchasing business from anyone right this is internally generated goodwill this is the goodwill that i have earned for my business over a period of time right because of the various factors the factors which we discussed in the last lecture like location of business right and uh, the quality of the product older the business more the goodwill relations with the customers relation with the workers of the company right so self generated goodwill is internally generated goodwill right over a period of time because of various factors like location so you can quote few factors here location of business right access to supplies supplies means raw materials right quality of product and so on right so this is our own generated goodwill our own reputation in the first case we were buying the reputation of a running business in this case we are self generating the reputation this is our own reputation that we have built over years it take years to build a reputation mind you no business will flourish in the very first year it takes time to settle down settle down it takes time to reach to the customers to make sure that you are delivering the right quality of the product at the right price to the customers so that the customers stick to you for a long period of time clear so this is self generated goodwill one very important point regarding the self generated goodwill is as per accounting standard 26 this self generating goodwill will not be shown in balance sheet 
why because we are not making some any payment for this self generated goodwill because no payment is being made for this self generated goodwill clear so this is one very important point as per accounting standard 26 self generated goodwill will not be shown in the balance sheet whereas the purchased goodwill was to be shown in the balance sheet on the asset side clear right so these are the two types of goodwill purchased goodwill and the self generated goodwill you can note this down after this we'll see the various methods for valuation of goodwill let us see i'll talk of methods for valuation of goodwill so i'll give a brief about the various methods which are available for the valuation of goodwill the first one is average profit method right in this we have further two we have simple average method and the weighted average method right then second we have super profit method right and next we have is capitalization method clear capitalization method we have further two methods one is capitalization of average profits and other is capitalization of super profits right so these are the various methods for the valuation of goodwill average profit method in the average profit method we have further two methods simple average method and the weighted average method number 2 is super profit method number 3 is capitalization method capitalization of average profits and the capitalization of super profits right so these are the various methods for valuation of goodwill that we will be discussing in detail along with the practical problems right one thing i forgot to tell you in the purchase goodwill is that how we can see the goodwill right suppose i am purchasing a business right i am purchasing a business for 40 lakhs right but the value of assets i have paid 40 lakhs but the value of assets that i have acquired is 36 lakhs 
so why i have paid 4 lakhs extra i have paid 4 lakh extra for acquiring the business this 4 lakh is goodwill of the business this is because i am purchasing the reputation of the business right that's why i am paying him extra over and above the net worth of the business net worth is assets minus the liabilities what i am paying is over and above the net worth of the business that is goodwill this is one small example right so you can write this down <coughs> 